We refurbished the ride. Kids look at it and go, wow. I, I want to be spat out. out by a rattlesnake. Who doesn't like Baccarat? When you come here, you get to learn about those positions that are not necessarily advertised. So if you want to come and do labor work, yeah. Our parents' generation, what their advantage was, they had more time. Fraser Focus, a fresh perspective beyond the bridge. Hey guys, welcome to Fraser Focus, local faces and local places in the South Fraser and Fraser Valley region. And obviously we're at a really exciting place right now. I'm Leah Bolton. And I'm Dean Atwell, that's right. And you better believe we're gonna be trying some of these slides later on. Another jam-packed show for you today. Coming up, we go into the City of Bhangra Festival. And later on, another important topic. We talk about job placement in Surrey. Now, to wrap up the show, we continue on with our special four-part series, taking a look and focusing on seniors in the community. Can we hit the slides now? I'm going on that one. At Coltis Lake Water Park, you're looking at a world-class water park with 20-plus major water slide attractions. We like to go in and purchase equipment that has once been used in another property. We refurbished the rise. In this case, we had this professionally themed rattlesnake here. Uh, adds an element of excitement. Kids look at it and go, wow, I want to... I, I want to be spat out by a rattlesnake, is what they're saying. You know, I even grew up here. Like, every, every summer when I was growing, I mean, that was only like five years ago, clearly, but. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a, it is a family tradition for a lot of families, and we get repeat business, like 30% of our business this summer will be repeat families just doing their family Four events kids. here. I brought five kids, so my 31 years we've been coming here. 31, 31 years? 31 years, yeah. So you stay in the campgrounds and you come yeah. out here? Yeah, and we just hang out here for the weekends and stuff like that. someone I think last year and they used to work here and I was like oh wow like you've been here like since the very beginning so we'll have people that like have grown up here also and they bring their littles and they're like oh yeah back when I was like five we came here too Hello. are you a regular would you say yeah we come about three or four times every summer and I've been coming for over 20 years <laughs> and what is it what is it about this place that you keep coming back for it's the best water slides there is if we pan around on this side, we've got our Colossal Canyon. It's the biggest simulated river ride it's designed for families in the province as well. So we've got a few real key pieces here. It's a staple. This park is a staple for British Columbians. Absolutely. If you haven't been here, you haven't been to BC. No. All right, bye. <laughs> when we were going to build this new ride, the family raft ride, we went to several parks in the States that had these rides, and my kids were the testers for the ride. So my wife and I own the park, and my uh, kids work in the business, and several relatives, including one of my brothers, works here as well. We're a small community just outside of Chilliwack. Uh, we are one of the major student employers in the, in the whole region here, and uh, we have a very strong uh, training program so when kids leave our employ they're ready to go out and uh, take on bigger challenges as their careers ensue. What's your favorite thing about working here? Uh, just spending time with the customers. Uh, if you have fun with them then you know you'll have lots of fun yourself. Uh, this is my eighth summer. Eight summer? Yeah, it's a great uh, job for any student, anybody in school, so. And what are you studying for? Um, law enforcement studies. So perfect job for you right now, going through the backpacks here. It is, to yeah. make sure that nobody sneaks anything in. Are you a strong swimmer? Yeah. Interlock your fingers with them behind your head. I purchased the business 21 years ago, and at the time there was, uh, oh, at least a half a dozen uh, valid water parks in the BC uh, industry and now slowly but surely they're closing down due to the pressures of the real estate value. You know pressure from development is squeezing some of the competitors out of the business. We're from Victoria there's no water slide park on the island anymore so we came here to go camping and water sliding. What are you most looking forward to? Um, this one. This one? Why? Be 
because I've never been here only when I was two. Oh, how old are you now? Five. Building it up for her. She's three now. She's been watching water slide videos and we've been building it up and finally came today. And how often do you come to Coulter's Lake Water Adventure Park? A couple times a summer. And what is it about it that keeps bringing you back? Oh, it's just the slides. It's all fun and games and everything. And which one of these rides should I be on? Which one do you think I should oh, be on? Oh, the bazooka ball. The bazooka ball <laughs> yeah. is the one? Yeah, it's the one. Oh, man, I don't know about that. <laughs> We've decided to embrace the value of our product and add to our park. And every year, we look for ways to enhance the guest experience. And we've built our park into the real world-class facility. Keeping up with demand, BC's number one water park has opened up a brand new attraction. It's called the Rattler. You're watching Fraser Focus. We'll be right back. Who's here from Surrey and the Fraser region? The Fraser region boasts a large Punjabi community, and there's nothing more Punjabi than Pangra. Welcome back to Fraser Focus. It's time now to celebrate an artistic dance form that is taking the world by storm. We've come out for the great music. For the Pangra Festival. Absolutely, we come every year to the Pangra Festival. Who doesn't like Pangra? Tell you something. Whoever said that Vancouver was a boring place to live has never lived here. So many cultural communities, and they're all uniting here at the festival. Yes, I agree. So I just want to do an independent survey right now. So just by a show of hands or cheering, who here is from Vancouver? All right, a couple of you around the fountain. How about uh, moving further east? Who's here from Surrey and the Fraser region? <laughs> Sounds like the Fraser region here is representing, Suki. This year, the BIPC Society is focusing on gender. So there's events that are encompassing all females, in addition to those who are from the LGBTQ community. That's brilliant, because in the past, it's been about equality. It's been about uniting the Punjabi dance and music with Canada. So we're taking it a step further this year. Definitely. We're showcasing that regardless of race, gender, sex, religion, we can all come together and celebrate this beautiful art form. And it's, again, all about celebration and having an amazing time in the heart of downtown Vancouver. How long does it take to tie the bug, the turban here? Five minutes. Would it take me five minutes? I don't, I don't think so. How long would it take me? Uh, like half an hour. <laughs> Love working with festivals, and how could you not have fun working with a festival like this? I think we're trying to push the envelope on different um, themes that maybe aren't covered in the South Asian market. Um, and it really, those themes sort of expand through all cultures. And isn't this festival a great way to get the message out? It's fantastic. I mean, you got people down here watching the dancing, um, participating in the dancing, um, and that's what we're all about. Did you learn the Bangra moves when they were teaching you? No! Did you, did you learn? <laughs> they had a Bangra lesson on earlier. Oh, uh, no, I missed that. I was at work. Okay, a little bit. So, pushing up the ceiling and patting the dog. Some of the basics. Oh, but you. there's a lot more to it than that. Two, three, four. All right, and let me show you your hands, guys. So we're gonna clap twice. There is. It's quite diverse. It is quite diverse. That's um, a nice part about walking down the street. You hear all the languages, see all the different people. We're thrilled to be in Vancouver. Isn't it great that these type of fest festivals oh, bring us all together? This is what you want. This Unity. is absolutely, yes, absolutely what you want. And we travel quite a bit. So to have this in our city is fabulous. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What can you tell me about the diversity in this area? It seems to be quite uh, extensive. And now you're about to witness a Pangra festival. Yes, we are. Well, get your dancing shoes ready. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be out there. Thank 
Sweat Lum. It took me two hours to get here. But I didn't want to miss the Bhangra dancing because I've seen it once before in another place. And I came two hours to get here. Oh, what fun fun all this is. It's great. A little, little bit of culture. What do you think about <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, we are diverse, let's face it. And it's fantastic. And it just adds so much interest overall to your life experience. Let's make some noise for them. Uh, well, Vancouver's got a, a very strong uh, South Asian and East Asian communities, which have a really dynamic presence in the community. Clearly, there's a strong uh, Canadi uh, traditionally Canadian and West Coast feel vibe to the Vancouver community. And then there are small pockets of all sorts of other uh, subcultures. It's a great place. All this festival continues to unite the communities. You're watching Fraser Focus, more local stories when we come back. I'm pretty good with people. I can make a mean burger. I'm we good. need a people with good attitude. We're ready to hire them. Hey guys, welcome back to Fraser Focus, local faces and local places. Right now we are in Surrey with 530,000 people as the population. The workforce is opening up their doors to another hiring fair. I've been unemployed for a year and uh, I'm looking for something that I really want to enjoy. And uh, you know, so here I am. Is it tough to find work? It is, especially when you're over 50. I think it's really tough. And now I've turned the big 6-0 and it's even tougher. Really? Do you think it's easier for the youth? It is, days? it is. Why do you say that? For some reason, I think some employers think that they're going to stay longer, but mm -hmm. um, I think uh, adults like uh, my age would probably stay longer. 11 o'clock. Okay, so 300 already. Yes. Whoa. Hi, are you interested in my in some scenarios, it's, oh, there's only five jobs, and meanwhile, there's 5,000 people applying. Well, I can say for this, I've spoken to a couple of employers this morning, and they actually have applications, job openings that are here. When you come here, you get to learn about those positions that are not necessarily advertised. So right now, all we have is our part-time operations clerk position. It is a five-day week commitment, Monday through Friday. Day camp, summer camp, uh, early childhood educators, school age assistant, cooks. And they are looking for... Uh, entry-level positions, uh, apprentices, they're willing to train, so, you know, it's a wide variety of uh, jobs that are available. Carried workers, nursing supervisors, RNs, LPNs, uh, administrative staff, client service coordinators. We're looking for different types of janitorial uh, cleaners across, you know, different uh, locations in the Lower Mainland. Some people have no experience, which is okay, because then we can train them, which is which is what I'm kind of doing to see the ones we don't need to train and the ones we do need to train. I'm, I'm pretty good with people. I can make a mean burger. I'm we good. need a, but people with good attitude. We're ready to hire them. Is that me? Yeah, and some skill, a lot of smile, then we are ready to hire them. And okay. training, we, we can provide all the training. Hello, Julie. Hey, How are you? Up? Good, how are you? Good, good. Oh, Celeste. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? Good, I'm, how are you? I'm great. I'm just doing my work busy follow up with you. So job development is a bridge between the job seekers and employers. So basically, so I work with the participants at work busy and then find suitable employers for them. So work BC, you you went there and you went through a program. Yes, uh, wage subsidy. So with that, um, I obviously had to go in, get all my paperwork done, but I also had to do my part and come through the studio, get my part done. I also had Olga help me um, with all my paperwork. It was a total helpful in terms of being able to afford the, the training aspect for another quality individual to be working at a, at a career state in there as opposed to a, an, entry out, a, a, an entry level position that would just stay there, right? So there's always been an advancement aspect to, to my business as well. Should I put in a longer post or is that okay? It's really close. 
like, even for me, it almost felt, like, intimidating. It's like, great, now I have to go and work BC. It's like, I can't find the kind of job that I want, so I have to get somebody else. So maybe some people might feel a little bit embarrassed by it, but there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's like, these people are here to help you. They're resources. Like, even if they don't help you in that specific thing, it's like, oh, well, we might know somebody else who can help you. I well, think that's what I always say to people when they say tattoos and piercings and stuff. It's like, hey, you dyed your hair. That's a modification. Mm -hmm. So we have tons of resumes over here. And most of them have some comments. So we're going to make sure that we follow up. Uh, actually, we searching about the companies at home okay. before. And we have a lot of information about them. So now we have a chance to talk to them here. Yeah, we have a store on Scott Road in Delft as well. Now I go there all the time. That's great. So you're a customer, so yes. that's even better. So it is very competitive, and especially this time when students are finishing uh, their uh, university colleges, and they're all going to be looking for summer work. So it's going to be tough. We're looking for mature handlers, you know, like if you want to come and do labor work. Yes, I love um, that. Have you applied for any jobs today? I applied Bali Village Best Buy in UPS. Okay, and how did it go? It went well. And then actually he's very excited today yeah. um, to come over in um, work PC. Yeah. And then it's 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 advantage for him to find a job. Yeah. What kind of job at London Drugs are you going for? Yeah. Probably something with on, on the floor like stocking or in the warehouse. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's your turn. Okay. Okay. How are you? Yeah. If you can let me know a little bit about your experience. Okay, um, a lot of my jobs that I've done, I've done clerical and uh, cashier and a little bit of accounting. Okay. And any job or every job I've ever done, they've given me some money to handle. So. For sure. So I would say cashier accounting position would be your best, um, uh, you know, match at this point. I think Cindy should be our next answer. We'll be right back here on Fraser Focus in a moment. Trust one another and do the best you're supposed to do. If you don't have trust, you don't have anything. Welcome back to Fraser Focus, local places and faces from the Fraser region. As promised, it's week two of our four-part special series, Seniors in the Community. It's time to learn about everlasting love. When things aren't going the way you want them to, you're still committed. Right. And uh, you work it out. Hello. Good morning. This is your wedding picture. And our 50th anniversary. Who are these guys? We've been married 67 years. Holy, I can't remember 67 years ago. <laughs> we were quite young then, though. You were 16, would yeah, you have been? Yeah. And I was 15. Yeah. So, so 15, 16, when, when did you get married? We were, you were 22? 23. 23, 23, 23 and I was yeah. 22. So when our kids were getting a bit older, and we'd be looking at pictures and the, our wedding yeah. pictures and that, and they'd say, Dad, you look so young. <laughs> and he'd tell them, oh, but I was very mature. <laughs> this family lives in Saskatchewan. And then who are those guys? <laughs> oh, those, oh That's I've his... seen them before. Our parents' generation, what their advantage was, they had more time to process, to think, yes. um, to consciously come up with an intention for the one before they met them because they weren't online they weren't you know outs outside of the home working they weren't um you know doing 15 activities the, their lifestyle and you know was a lot slower um, more grounded which really allowed them to consciously think and choose and that's the 50th yeah and then we need the hundred right here. <laughs> like for me, what's what's my advice? I haven't figured it out yet. You guys are obviously experts way over me. No, you well, look after yourself uh, yeah. and your relationship to the Lord. And, and the Lord knows what you have need of too. Okay. Yeah. So he'll, and he'll give you the right one when the time comes. So you guys just are telling me I've got to have faith, right? Faith in the right person though. Right. That's important. I 
asked him, and he said no. <laughs> you, for real? Is so, that true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I left. So you left? I went to Toronto. <gasps> well, you know. <laughs> so what did you do next, Walter? I went to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> We yes. moved from Ontario, yeah. where we were both yeah. born, yeah. Uh, to British Columbia, and I don't think we'd still be married. And Joyce had a big f f family, a lot of sisters and brothers. And, uh, the, uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah. You know, since then, everything's just been smooth sailing, right? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, we've had problems. But <laughs> Without the Lord, we could not have done it. No, Our, we had so. three children. The youngest one was born uh, lack of oxygen. Oh. So she was born brain damaged. And she's 62 now. And she has been in a care facility since she was six. I kept her home six oh. years. Uh, when our daughter was brain damaged, um, I blame God for that. And your relationship could have fallen apart. It could have, except that we really loved each other even then. So what's your best advice for everyone out there? Love one another, trust one another, and do the best you're supposed to do. Yeah. If you, if you don't trust the other one, well, you can't do anything. No, trust it's is a big one, be, right? Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. yeah, if you don't have trust, you don't have anything. Right. Really. Everlasting love. So many tips on keeping love is in the air. And that's it for this week's episode of Fraser Focus. Local faces and local places. Now, don't forget that if you are in the Fraser region, crossing the Patello Bridge, look out for closures on translink.ca. They are ever-changing because of the weather. If you guys have a story to tell, don't forget to give us a call, an email, or there's always social media, Joy TV BC. I'm Leah Bolton. And I'm Dean Atwell. See you next time.